Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the eye, or thy eye. So, this is a new action cam I picked up, and I think it's kind of interesting. Now, you guys know I fly a lot over the water, and this has some interesting attributes for flying over the water. So, tell you what, let's jump into the unboxing. Okay, so the camera comes in a very nice box, as you can see here. And uh, kind of a little bit of a tight fit. So we'll pull it out and uh, ta-da. Okay, so here is the eye. So it comes in a waterproof case. Kind of, um, you know, this uh, clip thing here is a little bit disappointing. I wonder if there's a, a tripod mount in there. Uh, but it does come with the waterproof case, which is nice. And uh, this front part pops up. And this pops out. And uh, there we go. So there's what the camera looks like. Very nice feel to it. It's got like a faux carbon fiber finish with a nice aluminum front on here. Uh, and one of the main reasons I purchased this is this is uh, one of the only action cameras I've seen that have uh, threads on the front of it for filters. And that's what really comes in this. So let's take a look at the uh, what else comes in this handy dandy little box we have here. And get this handy dandy little box out try not to destroy everything it's a little bit difficult so uh wow lots of stuff lots of stuff look at that guys man i hit the bonanza so uh one of the things i like right off the bat is it comes with a nice little pouch uh which is a nice feature uh because i do want i, I want to use this for travel uh, but the other thing it does is it comes with filters. And this is one of the big things. Um, the reason I got to make sure I get the filters in here is it comes with a, a skylight and a polarizing filter. It looks like it comes with a different back for the uh, waterproof casing. It comes with like handlebar mounts, GoPro style mounts. It comes with a battery. A uh, very nice little battery, recharge, rechargeable lithium ion. Now, I, I do plan on getting some more of these batteries. Uh, so this is an uh, 1,180 milliamp per hour, 3.8 volt, I believe, 4.4 watt battery. Um, comes with a little handle here to pull it in and out. Uh, now, the other thing I've seen in reviews is it uses the mini USB instead of the micro USB, which is kind of wanky, but okay. Uh, so be it. So we got the charging cable for it. And we got this uh, another strange type clip connector for it. Which I don't understand all these clip connector things. What's wrong with a good old tripod mount? Um, but this is somewhat like what comes on the case rather than uh, having it like this. It's got, so you can kind of see how that looks. Set this stuff back over here, and this apparently is the wanky base for the clip. Um, but we do have a tripod mount, so that's good. That's good. I like the tripod mount. This is what I'm going to use probably mostly is the tripod mount. So you quarter 20, and uh, got the standard. Uh, but it looks like you have, have to reuse uh, the cinching bolt from here to go on there. Same thing for this. Looks like they only give you one of those. So, uh, but that's nice. And uh, I'm not sure what this is in this sealed package. I don't know, double-sided tape or something. Glass cleaning cloth put over there. Some kind of ring adapter. Um, and then, like I say, the filter is the most important part. Now, they don't seem to label it. I'm assuming, now this is making the assumption. Let's see if... I don't see where it's labeled, but this kind of looks like the polarizer. Um, and this does appear to be maybe a little bit loose. Or just a circular polarizer where you spin it. I think it's just, yeah, this is, must be the polarizer because it spins. Typically a circular polarizer will spin. And this is the standard skylight filter. And this, guys, is why I procured this. So, one of the things I want to take a look at is I take this off. I want to grab my calibers. And let's turn on the calibers and zero them out. And see what the threads look like. See how big of a mount. So, this is about 27.5. 
So that's going to be probably the filter size that this will take. So this is 25 that goes on here. This is 25, so let's see. So this must, to use these filters, you must have to use this filter adapter to adapt it uh, up because I think it's taking the outside. And for those out there that complain, yeah, I should have re read the instructions, but I'd rather figure this out on my own. So yeah, so this is how this, this apparently goes. So this is actually even cooler sort of than I thought because I'll have to experiment around with other filter rings to go on here. Um, because again, what happens is this now screws inside of here like this, and then now, yeah, you can you can spin that circular polarizer filter. Um, so that is very cool. So it's got a latch on here for the bottom. And again, this is in a lot of the videos. I'm not going to go through all of this uh, in this video, but I did want to talk a little bit about why I purchased this. So I film a lot over the water. And a circular polarizer does wonders for filming over the water. But uh, circular polarizers do wonders for, f for filming over the water, so I really like that idea. Okay, so I got the battery in it, and it's powered up. It looks like a very nice screen. Uh, I don't believe it's a touch-sensitive screen. So it's now set for 1080, 60 FPS, so that's pretty cool. And again, I can spin this ring, and it does, it does a little bit under the fluorescent light. It's not going to do too much. Uh, it's set for video mode with audio recording. Um, uh, notable no, no cards inserted, so... Because it's counting up the time here, even though it's not recording. It's got a nice little blue indicator light. So, I, I'm excited about this, I think, for several different reasons. And again, it's got this uh, panel on the side that pops up and kind of pops out and spins out and so you have your card, you have your uh, HDMI, you have your mic and you have your charge port and I think this would be nice to put, you'd be able to put a little bit of windscreen and stuff over this outside uh, I think to improve some of the audio quality uh, but I think this is going to be rather interesting for a number of different reasons um, in shooting Primarily because I can f affix different filters and stuff. So I want to try putting a Coke in on here. And I'll have some follow-up videos where I do some of this uh, stuff. Um, also, I think this is, you know, again, great for drone flights. Uh, things like that. Especially with the polarizing filter. Although you have to kind of set the polarizing uh, settings before you take off if you're using on a quadcopter. The other thing I like about this, built-in quarter 20 without having to use a case or another clip-on bracket. So this makes it all, all the much smaller, transportable uh, into the field. So I really like that. Um, again, I'm very impressed. I've had a lot of cheap Chinese uh, cameras, action cameras, but this one has a really good feel to it. Uh, I'm wondering if this isn't the speaker on the side and this is the mic up here. Let's see the holes up there. So maybe I was a little bit off, but again, it has this nice blue indicator light uh, showing it's doing something or on. So uh, I'm impressed with this, guys. Just the, the, the feel and the fact I can use filters with this really makes this. And it's a sub-100 bucks, and uh, so I really think this is a, a really good find uh, for the photography buff, for the drone buff uh, out there. And again, the price point, you simply can't beat it. So I'm going to do some more videos in the future uh, of the output video from this and let you guys see what it looks like, and especially time lapses and things like that. So tell you what, um, make sure you click, click that subscribe button over there. Let me know if you got any comments down below. Happy to answer them. And uh, hey, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.